from the IHTN studios. It's Braves Beat. Mom, I can't talk right now. I'm on Braves Beat with West. I'll put the potatoes in the oven when I get home, all right? All right, love you. Bye. Who's that? Mr. Flint. Okay. You ready for spring break? Totally. All right. Let's get into the news then. Last weekend, we hosted our first tailgate for the boys lacrosse game. It was like totally rad. We had the cornhole, grilled out some beef, pizza, and chilled. Stay tuned for our next scheduled tailgate. We hope you'll be there. Well, the weather was totally wigging out this week. Actually, West, it was pretty normal weather for Cincinnati. Yo, Indian Hill, I'm your weatherman today, Ahmed Ali. And as you can see, we're in springtime, sun's blossoming on these beautiful trees, and on this field right behind me, 5 o'clock p.m., we're gonna, you're gonna need to wear nothing at all because it's gonna get really hot again. However, when we leave school today, the weather, unfortunately, will be about 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom. Yo, Indian Hill, I'm here, your weatherman today, Ahmed Ali. Uh, to, to, I'm here to tell you all uh, that looks like it is snowy. As you can see, there's a lot of snow on the ground and everywhere. Two inches of snow. Uh, whoever's car this is, I don't know how you got to school this morning with all the snow flying into your, uh, to your window. Uh, and there's a lot of snow on the top. I don't know how you got here. Well, what? There's, you can't even see from the back. How did you get here? The snow will stay until Saturday morning and then it will be sunny again. The snow will melt and it's just gonna keep going like that. Sunny, snowy, sunny, snowy. However, on Sunday it's gonna be rainy and then you never know what's gonna happen in April. We're in Ohio. Boom, thanks. Last Sunday, for the sixth year in a row, the boys and girls lacrosse teams participated in the 5K Heart Mini Race in honor of the boys coach, Tim McKay and his family. Junior Ellie Rabinold and freshman Robert Rudy Brunner were the first from both teams to cross the finish line. Both teams ended up raising a total of $5,500 for the American Heart Association. Sweet, amazing job, Laxers. Braves, the Conquer the Hill registration is open now. This year, you can register to participate along with your club or group. Go to this link then scroll down to upcoming events to register for the race. The race is on Saturday, April 21st, and if you have any questions, talk to Mrs. Schoenauer. And time for round two. Here we go. Let's go. All right. This one we're going to start with the students. Zach, are you ready? I think I am. All righty. Name something you would hate to find under your bed. Uh, bugs. Mmm. Good answer. Yeah, Good answer. Yeah. Spider for ten points. It counts. It counts. Technically, a spider's an arachnid, not a yeah. bug. Technically, he pulled it off. Not a bug. He said a bug. I'm sorry, but whatever the host says goes, Miss B. All righty, Kelsey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Johnny. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, name something you would hate to find under your bed. Um, remnants of past snack binges. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the money. Hey! All right, Kelsey for 12 points. Well done, well done. Students have zero X's. Down to Adam and Sally. Adam, name something you would hate to find under your bed. I'm going to go with Ahmed Ali. <laughs> <laughs> something, someone. <laughs> A person for three points! Miss Sally, all right! Chase, teammates aren't letting you down. Right. Chase, name something you would hate to find under your bed. Well, Johnny, uh, I would hate to find the Nightman. <laughs> Good answer! Good answer! It's the Nightman. He already said it. What'd you say? Uh, I'm sorry. A person was already taken. Zach, you know the question. Name something you wouldn't want to find under your bed. Oh, uh, oh God. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, he could not answer in time. Kelsey, you just got two strikes. Tell me, what would you not want to find under your bed? Um, a small rodent or animal of any sort. <laughs> yeah. Kelsey, for eight points.
points. All right. We're rolling here. We still got three answers up on the board. Adam, what would you not want to find under your bed? A monster. Yeah! We're 43 points. All right. Chase. <laughs> Don't give me the answer. Smelly socks. <laughs> that is not right. We're swinging it over to the teachers for a big steal. Can they steal? Miss B. <laughs> Name something you wouldn't want to find under your bed. A snake. For 16 points, teachers with the steal. All right, that makes teachers with 96 points to the students, 80. That means teachers, you are on to the fast money round! Yeah! All right! Woo! Last Wednesday, our choir orchestra Braves made their way for a long weekend trip to the Big Apple. They put on a gnarly performance at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine, Madison Avenue Atrium, and more. Wow. Okay, same guys, same. Well, amazing job, Braves. The race for the Indian Hill Hallway wheelchair race is back. Let's check it out and see who won. Let's go, boy. You got this boy. Get easy money. Get this boy. Easy money, Johnny G. He thinks he's better than you. You're better than yourself. Let's go, guys. Yeah, man, you got burned. All right, dude, chill. It's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, see us on Snapchat, and email us with any school updates. We hope everyone has a fun, sunny, safe, and fantastic spring break. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Villanova. Villanova. Vananovia. Jay, are you aware that your prediction on last week's episode came true? Um, yes, I'm aware. It was destined to happen. University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Oh, oh shut up. Sad. Shut up. <laughs> I had Virginia. Virginia. It's a depressing day. I, I don't know baseball. Get away from me.